doing everybody let's talk sports in 2007 when the uh warrior football team behind colt brennan and company topped san jose state in san jose in overtime there was a possible bcs bowl game appearance on the line last night felt similar to a degree hawaii pulled off the feet again this time with a possible hawaii bowl appearance in the balance warriors made it three straight wins keeping their hopes of a postseason game alive. We take you back to Cali. Warriors going against former UH coach Dick Tomey who announced his retirement earlier this week. Hawaii's defense providing a big boost. Lemetrius Davis picked off Spartans quarterbacks twice and Mana Silva added his sixth interception of the season. But perhaps the biggest play defensively came right here in the fourth quarter when Tuika Tufonga forced a San Jose State fumble recovered by Jeremy Bryant and that helped send the game to overtime. In OT, Leon Wright Jackson ran in the only touchdown of the extra frame a five-yard deal. Warriors would win 17-10. Shane Austin was at the helm for Hawaii with starting QB Bryant Moniz, sidelined with sore ribs. The sophomore from California was 28 for 46 for 299 yards and a three-yard TD run. His go-to target was John Medeiros, the senior out of Capole, caught 10 passes for 149 yards. Warriors are now 5-6 and six and need to beat Navy and Wisconsin at home to make it to the Hawaii Bowl. It gives us a lot of confidence, you know. With these last three games, it really showed our character and, you know, how hard we can fight and how much we believe and we can stay in the ball game. This is what we live for. This is what I live for, you know. Over time, it can't get any better than this, you know. And it was a great opportunity for us, and uh, we pulled it out. Three in a row gives us a lot of confidence coming into coming back home and finishing the last two games against Navy and Wisconsin. Navy, of course, is head coached by former UH quarterback Ken Niu Matalolo. Midshipmen are 8-3 and three on the season. Kickoff at Aloha Stadium next Saturday is set for 5.30 p.m. Their bold dream still intact. The Warrior football team arrived home this morning following their third straight win against San Jose State at Spartan Stadium. And in case you missed it, here's what happened. Shane Austin became the third starting quarterback of UH's season when he filled in for Brian Moniz. Let's pick things up late in the fourth quarter. Game tied and the Spartans driving for the game-winning drive. That is until Tuika Tufunga and Blaze Soares combined for the sack and that forces the fumble and this rivalry would see overtime for the second straight time at Spartan Stadium. In OT, Leon Wright Jackson is going to come up with the game-winning touchdown to beat the Spartans 17-10. The win for Hawaii is their fifth on the season. That means they need to win their final two games to earn a berth at the Sheraton Hawaii Bowl. Your first career start, you come away with this win. Jeez, what a, what a nail biter from the first one, huh? No, but um, I, I think it was a good win. You know, it was a good character builder for our team, you know, and, uh, you know, we, uh, we kind of hurt ourselves a little bit in the middle there, but, you know, as long as we get the W, I think, you know, that's what that's the main goal, so. We gotta play better, you know, uh, play better football, we gotta, a, a very tough opponent coming, but I mean, this gives us hope, you know, and that's all we need is hope. As long as we have hope, you know what I mean, that's, then we have something to fight for. And uh, that's what we have right now. We have a lot of hope going, you know, and that, that, that crack is just opening, you know, the crack to that doorway, so we just got to keep fighting. Last night was also a significant night for a handful of Warriors. Let's start on the offensive side of the ball. Quarterback Shane Austin threw for a season-high, career-high, 299 yards and scored the first rushing touchdown of his career in the first quarter. Meanwhile, receiver John Medeiros was on the receiving end of most of those yards, hauling in 10 grabs for 149 yards. Defensively, Warrior cornerback Lemetrius Davis came up with not one, but two of Hawaii's three interceptions. That's also a career high. The third pick went to Mana Silva, who hauled in his whack leading sixth interception of the season. Next up is local boy Ken Neo Matalolo for the Warriors and his Navy midshipmen. And for a look ahead to that game, tune into the Coach Mac show tonight at 10:35 on KGMB. Here's it's Austin. Austin runs. This is it. Reed back to pass. Here comes the blitz. He throws. It is almost intercepted, but that is not the main emphasis here. The game is over. Everybody just, just told us one more play, one more play. Let's go. Somebody makes a play. Somebody's going to make a play. And uh, sure enough, uh, Jerry Bryant made that play, you know. I feel like this weird uh, brought us uh, more together as a family, you know. Um, I mean, everybody stuck together, and uh, we just came out with that victory, which is a, was a great one, you know. 
How's it going, everybody? Last night in California, led behind a tough-as-nails effort by the Hawaii defense. Warrior football team kept their Sheraton Hawaii Bowl hopes alive with a 17-10 overtime victory over San Jose State. Sophomore Shane Austin got the start in place of the injured Bryant Moniz, who is still recovering from bruised ribs. California native went 28-46 for 299 yards passing with one rushing score. Couple A grad John Maderos, a career night. Ten catches for 149 yards, but it was the defense that set the tone. Lamitrius Davis with two interceptions. Mana Silva with his sixth pick of the year. Blaze Swords, 11 tackles, helping force the game-saving fumble with 47 seconds left. And Jeremy Bryant on lockdown to seal the deal. UH, now winners of three straight ball games, will host Radford Grad and former UH quarterback Ken Niumatololo and his Naval Academy with Hawaii's postseason dreams once again on the line. It was a real close one, but uh, three in a row gives us a lot of confidence coming into coming back home and finishing the last two games against Navy and Wisconsin. Oh, Navy is a, a great team, you know. Um, we have a lot of work to do on them, you know, um, especially they're coming off a of bye this week. So they have more time to pr prepare for us, which sucks. But uh, I mean, we just got to go out there and do what we got to do and uh, try to pull off these last two home game stretch. We just got to go out there and just strap up and, you know, be ready to play because Navy's, Navy's a great team. They're a good team. Now here's a quick look at the resume of Navy head coach Ken Niumatololo, first ever NCAA head coach of Samoan descent, was a prep bowl champion at Radford, played quarterback at UH from 1987 to 89, an assistant at Hawaii, UNLV, and Navy, and is 16-8 overall in his second season as midshipman head coach. Navy, bowl eligible for the seventh straight season, enters the game 8-3, UH at 5-6, expects to have quarterback Bryant Moniz back for Saturday night. Again, Warriors must win both remaining games to qualify for the Sheraton Hawaii Bowl kickoff set for 5.30 at Aloha Stadium.